Hello everyone, welcome to Grey on Tech TV. My name is Saf and you're watching the database series for Appian Database Learning. In this video, we'll be discussing on how to create a table using the UI approach. And as you are here in the video, you might be a learner for Appian or, a, or someone who recently got a job in Appian or a person who is interested to explore a new technology out of their current job. So I'm here to give you practical demonstration on how to easily create a database table in Appian Cloud Database Server. So you can click on new. The moment you click on new, there will be a UI wizard to click create the table with respect to uh, you know asking the table name. You can also add ex additional columns beyond these four columns. And there is a, le a detailed description and uh, you know, you can you can select multiple options for the respective columns that yeah, that are visible on the screen so first let's let's create a table the table name is ta employee registration or ta employee reg reg ta stands for test application i just randomly chosen a prefix you can write anything as per your requirements it's just a name so the first thing is like id id is required to uniquely identify uh, your row in the database so two rows can have similar data but they cannot have similar id because id is unique and not null id will be primary key that is the reason primary key is required in a table so that we can uniquely identify the data in our table so it will be integer by length Le if we write length it will be some as per our uh, requirements but if we leave length it will be by default 11. It cannot be nullable because we are trying to keep it primary key. So if you want to make any column primary key, just click on tick this and it will be primary. Next, uh, we can write name or like, I think camel casing is a better standard for this. Sorry, yeah. Uh, name uh, name will be varchar. If you do not specify anything, it is by default 255. And if you specify, so it will be according to the specification. So I'm specifying the, specifying the length and because 50 length var uh, variable character is enough for storing name. If you keep a particular value as default, so whether there is a value in the database transaction or not, it will keep that default value. So right now I can make it null because name can be null, but ID cannot be null. So the simple thumb rule is all the columns can be, uh, all the columns in a table can be nullable except the primary key. The logic is simple. So ID employee name, ID employee salary. Uh, salary can be integer. Yeah, integer is fine for us as of now, else the, like it is having float as well as the double and there are minor differences between them based upon the length of the data that they can hold. So as of now, integer of uh, length uh, six is fine for us to hold the salary. Again, it can be in a label. Next, we have gender. We can keep it as tiny int because tiny int of length one is boolean in Appian. And again, we can keep it nullable. So we can also write four columns on the go. Create these are called meta columns. Meta columns means the columns which will help you to give more insights on the data data transaction that happened that you know why this row is is into existence so who created this row when it was created so it is like uh, these four columns are called meta columns so the column is like as as like created on created by modified on and modified by so created on and similarly created by similarly modified on and modified by 
created by it will be uh, just giving you an idea it will be a user and created on it will be date and time modified on will be date and time modified by will be user and they all also can be nullable so by de there is a there is a property called default so these columns can take the time as current timestamp so whenever there will be a new addition in the database table uh, so the data will carry along with this column with the current timestamp so created on created by as defined so there is a formula for so there is a function called current user and uh, let's keep it as also current timestamp and current user so we are good to go with our table we can also modify the length of the date time but right now i'm not modifying uh, let's keep it as 50 because for the name above also we have kept as 50. the good thing is you can preview the sql and you can understand the entire query that you have written so as a beginner developer if you try to create the table using command like this you may miss a comma or a single quote for a particular column or the default behavior of a particular column so there are high chances for you to do mistake while writing a query so this video is intended for you to learn how to create tables using UI based approach here and the moment you click on save the command will be executed and your table will be created this is the left hand side where you can search your tables so my table name starts with TA so if I search TA so this is my table name where I can click on the table and open the contents of browse my table contents basically so this is my browse section right now my table is empty if I click on structure I can understand that this is my uh, configuration this is my schema of the table that I have created and this is the command so you can keep it for your notes or you can understand that this is how your table got created and uh, this is it so coming back to the data right now there is no data so let me show you how to insert the data id is primary key auto increment how do i know it if you go into structure and if you see it is primary key you can hover and see it's primary so you can insert the data with your name like aman jan salary 20000 gender like one for male and zero for female just it's a, it's kind of a boolean stuff so i'm assuming things here now this is something that i need not to fill because it is automatically filled by the formula which i have uh, formula not it's actually functions so i can click on go and my entry will be created so even after i have done the entry using ui i can still take the command from here so this is my insert command so sometimes i say command and query uh, interchangeably so don't get confused it's actually insert query again if i go to browse i can see aman jan okay 
created by and modified by is coming by current user i'll clarify this one in the next video but yeah we got to understand that the timestamps are working and the entry is been made in the table as expected